Does establishing boundaries, even healthy boundaries, feel a little scary or intimidating? Does it feel overwhelming to think that you might draw a line in the sand that you can never come back from? I want you to stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be busting three myths about healthy boundaries and talking to you about why it's so important that you have them in place. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. Establishing healthy boundaries is an essential component to your self-care and personal empowerment. These healthy boundaries help you discern what a yes is in your life and what a no is. When you align your healthy boundaries with your core personal values, you will be walking your path of purpose and you will be aligned with your truth. Today, I'm going to be busting three myths about healthy boundaries. Let's get started. Myth number one, once you draw the line in the sand, it can never be moved. Guess what? It's sand. You can just, you know, erase it and then redraw a line somewhere. Here's the beautiful thing about our healthy boundaries. They shift and change depending on what's happening in our lives. It depends on who we're with, what the situation is. Healthy boundaries are designed to flow. They're designed to be responsive to where you are and what you want to make happen in your life. So this whole idea that the line in the sand can never be moved, that's a myth. Myth number two, healthy boundaries are like a solid oak door through which none shall pass. That's not true. There are lots of different types of doors. Why not pick the door you want? I like to use the door metaphor for our healthy boundaries because it helps me discern, even for myself when I'm setting boundaries, what type of boundary I want to establish. So I like to think about it in terms of three different types of doors. There's the open door, the screen door, and the solid oak door. So with the solid oak door, this is a pretty firm boundary. If you think about when you shut a solid oak door or when you shut that front door to your home, it does create a solid barrier or a pretty solid barrier, right? We've got a solid barrier and people can't enter into it. And if you think about this in your life, this is a more solid barrier where you might be saying no to certain people, events, things, that's your solid barrier. Now remember, barriers can move, okay? So that solid door might not always be there, which is where the other two doors come in. So the next type of door would be a screen door. If you think about a screen, air can flow in and out. There can be conversations that you have through the screen door. You can see things through the screen door. They might you know, be a little blurry, but you can still see through the screen door. It's a bit more permeable than the solid oak door or that solid door that you've shut to your home. It has a different quality. And so certain people might be able to enter, other people not so much. Certain situations might be yeses, other situations might be noes. This is that more fluid, healthy boundary that can shift and change depending on the moment, the day, the people that you're around. The third type of door is the open door. This is one where there's a free flow of exchange. Maybe it's open a certain amount one day. Maybe it's open wider the next. But that open door allows for easy passage. We're not creating any type of barrier, per se, to people, situations, events, things coming in. Here's the thing. You get to decide what kind of door your particular healthy boundary is at any moment. Is it a solid oak door? Is it a screen door? Or is it an open door? And just how open is that door? I want to know, what kind of healthy boundaries do you have in your life? Share it in the comments below. Myth number three, and this is a big one. Healthy boundaries always feel good. It's not true. Sometimes establishing a healthy boundary means that we are saying no to a loved one. Sometimes a healthy boundary means that we are saying no to something that maybe traditionally we might have said yes to. Establishing healthy boundaries sometimes means that we are moving out of old habits and patterns that have been really comfortable for us, but they're no longer serving us. 
So no, healthy boundaries don't always feel good. In fact, sometimes it can be painful. Having support systems to help hold you accountable for your healthy boundaries, who can check in with you, make sure that you're doing okay, that's an important piece of this equation. So you may want to share some healthy boundaries with some people in your life that do love and support you so that they can check in with you, making sure that that healthy boundary is staying in place. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it busted some myths about setting boundaries for you. If you would like additional support setting your boundaries or talking through what a healthy boundary for you might even look like, be sure to book a one hour empowerment session with me. It's you, me, and all your healthy boundaries. There's a link for that in the description below. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. Establish those healthy boundaries and stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.